I am Dozier Libby. Hi, I'm Dozier Libby. I am Dozier Libby. I am Dozier Libby. I am Dozier Libby. I am Dozier Libby. We are Dozier Libby. We are Dozier Libby. <laughs>
that you want to challenge yourself with, but those are our class options. Uh, as a junior, you'll find that you get to have some additional electives. So there are five required classes in the junior schedule, um, and you get to take a couple of electives to fill in the rest of your schedule to take either six or a seven period day. So you still get English, you still get math, uh, physiology is the third year of science class, and that is required here at the University, as is the third year of health science three, your choice of US history or AP history. Now you'll also notice that you get some other electives as well. AP bio now becomes an elective, sports medicine becomes an elective, first responder becomes an elective as well. So those elective classes are open to our, you will notice that they are all sort of science or health science related classes as well. Because remember, we are a health science path. In your senior year, you're going to have four core classes. Those include medical ethics, physics, English, and then a semester of government and a semester of economics. Uh, we do ask that you take a fourth year of math class. It should be planned on. Uh, we offer AP Calculus and AP Stats in alternative years, uh, depending on when you start. Um, but you also get uh, AP Bio, Sports Med, First Responder class, or AP Psychology available to you as a senior. So if we take a look at the summary of our requirements here, when uh, you can choose to enroll in classes at Dozier Libby, you're going to be taking, of course, four years of English, four years of a science class, four years of health science, three years of social science, three or usually four years of a math class, your two years of PE, two years of Spanish or some other world language. If you choose to take a different world language at a place like LMC, and of course, a year of visual and or performing arts, which are our art class and or band. So there are substantial differences between life here at Doja Libby and life at Antioch or Deer Valley High School. One of those largest differences is our highly integrated course study. So all those classes that we talked about, they're all prescriptive. They all build on each other and we do integrate with special projects that go along. Now, you'll notice that there are also other differences like we have fewer AP classes. We only offer a handful. We don't have the ability to offer those wide range of AP classes that you would have at any offer here Valley. Our course of study is going to exceed the district graduation requirements, and it's also going to exceed the UC CSU A to G requirements as well. So when you come to life to school at Doja Libby here, your life is pretty prescriptive in terms of the classes that you're going to be taking. In terms of integration, that highly integrated course of study, there are projects that occur at every grade level that do integrate information from one class to another. These are just some example projects here. Um, these projects do change from year to year, um, depending on new projects that are that are created by our teaching staff here. But we make sure that at every grade level, there is at least one uh, integrated project that occurs every year. So you can see in ninth grade, they usually do some sort of project about healthy living and making healthy choices. In the 10th grade, they do some healing circles and uh, they learn about different world cultures and how different uh, cultures, different places around the world might approach healthcare. Uh, in the junior year, we do quite a few um, with physiology and English and health science as well. And in the senior year um, is really highly integrated between the four core senior classes that you're going to take. So we want you to know that we value your student. And if you make a four-year commitment to us, we are willing to make a four-year commitment to you uh, to come to life here at Doja Libby. But we want you to make sure that you are making the choice that is best for you and your family and your student and what they potentially would like to do in their life after high school. Thanks for listening and of course if you have questions there'll be a question and answer session or you can always get in touch with the school and they'll direct your question to the appropriate person as needed thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoy your time here at Dozier libby medical high school i am dozier libby i am dozier libby i am dozier libby i am dozier libby, I am dozier libby. I am Dozier Libby. I'm Dozier Libby. I am 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 Dozier Libby. 
Okay, hello and welcome um, to our night of welcome. My name is Ms. Martinez, um, and I'm going to be discussing some of the logistics of attending school at Dozier Libby, um, along with the help of some of our students. Um, I've been teaching at Dozier Libby for nine years now, um, and I love it here, and I hope you guys will also come to love it here um, as well. So as you can see on the screen, these are some of the topics that I will be discussing today. Um, and if you guys have questions, hopefully you'll be able to attend our information session uh, as well. Hello, my name is Evelyn and I am Dozier Libby. I am also part of the class of 2024. I'm here to talk to you about our location as well as some of our traffic patterns. We are located in southeast portion of Antioch, right next to Sand Creek Kaiser. Due to our location and construction of new homes in our areas, there is only one way in and one way out for students, parents, and staff. As you can imagine, before school and after school, we encounter a lot of traffic uh, from people and cars. <laughs> so it is important to give yourself plenty of time to get to school before the first bell rings. Hey everyone, I am Skylin and I am Dozier Libby. Another big aspect of Dozier Libby is our dress code. Students are required to wear scrubs every day. Students may purchase and wear school spirit wear from different clubs and professional organizations on campus. Several times throughout the school year, students have opportunities to participate in spirit weeks and as well as earn free dress days. Here we have great examples of current students showing proper dress code, including spirit wear. We do a lot of group work um, on our campus. We do several integrated projects for each grade level. Um, so students are expected um, to be able to meet together um, sometimes in class time, during advisory, um, but also this will be uh, outside of school time as well. Um, so sometimes they will need to either meet in our library after school or find other times to meet. Um, students are also very good at um, communicating online, sharing information with each other, sharing documents with each other. Um, but this is a very big part of um, our, our curriculum, um, so you should anticipate having to participate in group projects. Um, when we get into what we call project season, which is where all of the grade levels um, are doing projects, um, it can be pretty intense. And um, this is a very difficult time of the school year to miss. Um, first of all, you do need to be at school to learn. Um, we do a lot of discussions, hands-on projects, um, lab activities um, that we want students to participate in to be able to learn. But also if you are absent during group work, then that will mean that you're missing um, a pretty big chunk of a project and also that you might be letting down some of your group members. Um, so please be aware of this um, when it comes to being um, attendant, uh, to being present at school. Um, also, we do have a block schedule, which means that um, on certain days of the week, our classes are an hour and a half. Um, as a science teacher, this is really helpful um, if we're watching a cool video or doing a lab activity. Um, it gives teachers a time to walk around and check in with students. Um, but that also means, on the flip side, that if you miss a day of school, um, it might feel like you're missing two days of school. Um, so please keep that in mind as well. Um, as I mentioned, K group work um, is really important, whether it's a lab activity or a group project. Um, definitely be sure that you're communicating with your teachers and your group members um, if you are going to be absent during group project time. Um, and if a student is going to be out for um, a week or longer for an extended period of time, we ask that um, a parent will contact the front office um, to get an independent study for that student. Um, oftentimes then teachers are able to give a bit of work for students to do while they're out of school um, or able to let the student know what they're expected to do when they return to campus. Okay, um, I will encourage you to please not schedule any vacations um, during final exams week, um, which is the last week of school in December and the last week of school in June. Um, those are very difficult times um, for students to miss um, and oftentimes it ends up being stressful um, if they are out of town during that time. Um, I would also like to mention that at our school we do not give very much extra credit work. Um, we expect students to do the regular credit work. Um, oftentimes students when they ask for extra credit um, usually it's because they didn't do the regular credit work. Um, so some teachers might give a point here and there um, but as you should not rely on extra credit to bring up your grade. Um, you should talk to your teachers about other ways to bring your grades up. 
Um, many teachers on this campus do not accept late work either. Um, we would like for students to understand that when um, a deadline is put forth, that it's important to work on time management um, in order to make sure that you meet those deadlines. Um, this is also what's expected in the um, college atmosphere and in the workforce as well. So we're trying to um, establish those habits um, in our high school students as well. Okay, and one of the last things that I wanted to mention um, is about keeping your contact information updated. Um, it's extremely important that um, both teachers and then front office staff are able to contact you uh, during school hours in some way, if there's an emergency um, or if it's just to let you know what type of material, um, subjects, homework um, is coming up in class. Um, I myself um, communicate weekly um, by emailing parents with what to expect uh, for the next week. So if you do move partway through the school year, uh, be sure that you keep the front office appraised of what your new address and contact information is. Okay. All right, and thank you very much. Hopefully we will see you um, at our information session if you have any further questions. I am Dozier Libby. 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 We are Dozier Libby. Dozier Libby Medical High School offers a variety of extracurricular activities. Dozier Libby students may participate in all sports offered at Deer Valley and Antioch High School. Students must play at their district designated school. In order to play high school sports, students must have a physical examination before tryouts. Students must maintain a 2.0 GPA in order to play sports. If you're interested in playing sports, check the school's website for information. Students leave our campus at 1.30 on game days. They miss most of their fifth or sixth period class. It is the student's responsibility to find out what he or she missed and to make it up in a timely manner. Parents provide transportation to Deer Valley or Antioch. Back to school dance and the winter ball are two dances that freshmen can attend without a guest pass from an upperclassman. Junior prom and senior ball are open to freshmen if they are a guest of an upperclassman. Students must maintain a 2.0 GPA and a satisfactory discipline record to attend dances. These are the clubs we have at Dozier Libby. At the beginning of the year is Club Rush. Each club sets up a table in the quad and recruits club members. Clubs meet at lunch and after school. HOSA is a national organization that prepares students to enter the healthcare field.
The Talented Student Showcase and the Night of Expression are evening events that allow students to perform their special talents. I am Dozier Libby. 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 We are Dozier Libby.